today we'll take a look at how we can create this 3d animation that you see on the screen here we are inside of after effects and i already prepared the project vector file that we need for this so we'll create a new composition and just use the settings click ok and then drop the project file that we have and then since this is an illustrator file we can right click go to create and choose create shapes from vector layer so it creates another shape using this file so we can delete this one we don't need it anymore we can press enter rename this to logo and change fill up here to white and now we can select a rectangle tool we want to create a rectangle just like that and then i'll move this back so i'll press ctrl left bracket now we want to give this a color so we can click on fill and i'll give it this blue color we'll center this to the screen so i'll press ctrl alt home and then ctrl home to center it to the screen and this looks okay to me we'll select both of the layers and turn on 3d for this so we can change this from classic 3d to cinema 40 and if you don't see it here you can go to composition composition settings 3d renderer and change renderer from classic 3d to cinema 40 but before changing that i'll show you why we are doing this so if we go to the settings of this shape layer we don't have this geometry options available and if we turn this into cinema 40 now we get extra options for this we have it open now so we'll keep it like that and as you can see the logo disappeared so we need to press p and change the z value of the position so that it comes to the screen now what we can do is we can go to this extra settings that we were talking about and before doing that let me just rotate this so you can see what's happening we'll rotate this like that and before rotating we can parent the logo to the shape layer so when we rotate the logo comes with it as well so if we open the settings of shape layer one again we can open the geometry options so since we rotate this you can see what is happening we can change this extrusion depth to 80 it is now 3d now we want to add a color to this so we can go to add and then add an empty group to this and then select a rectangle one go to add go to size color and then we can change this to i'll use this blue color and then go to the color we'll choose a darker color for this so it has a depth to it so right now we can do the same for the logo as well so if we close this and then open it again we have the same settings for the logo so we can just go to add add an empty group to this so we have a group already i didn't notice we can go to add side color and then we can add a dark color for this and if we change the if we press p and change the we can play with the z position we can go back to the settings go to extrusion depth and we can extrude it a little now we can close the settings press ctrl y to select to create a solid we'll use this color and move this back now all there is left to do is to animate this so i'll press r for rotation options and then go to y rotation this is already rotated i'll reset this so that we are back to the beginning set a keyframe on y rotation i'll go to one second and then rotate it like that until we see one here we rotate it some more and then we can go move by 20 frames or so shift page down twice and then we'll change this to zero we'll select the keyframes press f9 to easy ease and we can adjust the curves like that So we have this type of animation we might need to render this 
And now if we want we can select both of this logo and shape layers. Let me just lock the background first. So I'll lock this. We can rename this to BG. So press enter, rename this to BG and then lock it. We can select both of this shape layers and logo layer. So control shift C, we can pre-compose it, call this logo animation. Control D to duplicate it, press enter and name it shadow. So now we can select the shadow and move it down like that. We can shrink it down like that. We'll go to FX and presets, type in fast box blur and then increase the blur radius like that. We can add a fill also to this. So type in fill, double click on it to add, select this color and then add a dark blue color. Like that, we can press T for opacity and drop it to 50 so that the shadow animates with the logo as well. Let's take a look.